today I'm here with another Tech It Builds tutorial, and uh, this one is going to be on a geothermal infinite energy setup. And um, yeah, it's quite a simple design. Uh, there's not much resources to be consumed here. As you can see, it's, it's quite small and uh, even uh, uses animals. Makes it set up, and I'll show you how it works right now. So, um, what it is here, the deployer deploys against the cow, so it gets milk from the buckets. And what it's do, the milk buckets go through this filter into this condenser. And in this condenser, you have lava buckets. And um, it condenses into lava buckets, goes through here, and gets your infinite energy in the geothermals. You can have as many geothermals here as you want. But um, and then of course the retriever retrieves all the um, empty buckets from quite a big radius, and uh, it goes straight back into the ploy and repeats the whole cycle again. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go next to it and show you how to build it. So first of all, we want to make our pen for the cow. So we do a little. There you go. Just do a little f three blocks here, and then of course to actually get the benefit of the cow, deploy it there. And then after that, we want to get uh, some blocks on the top so it doesn't jump out the top. And uh, you can you can block all the sides, but I prefer to see my cow when I'm uh, when I'm milking it. So um, we'll get our spawner egg out, which you have not got out. So yeah, you can easily wheat use some wheat to get a cow in if you have some. Not uh, let's see if we can if we can get it. There you go. So let's spawn a, a cow right here. Let's get 64 uh, eggs. Why not? So there you go, your cow's in place, ready to be deployed. And then out of here, we place a filter, uh, which just simply faces that way when you place it, or you can use a screwdriver or a sonic screwdriver to turn it around. And then this is where you place your condenser. And in this condenser, what you want to do is place your lava bucket in the top left corner right there. So um, after that, you want to filter facing this way. This is going to pull out the lava buckets, so place your lava bucket in there. And also in this filter as well, you want to place the milk bucket. Okay, and uh, after that we want to uh, put the retriever going into the deployer here. So make sure the orange side is facing outwards from the machine. And just quickly place your solar panel on the top right there. So now this is the setup really, that's all it is. Now you just got to do where your geothermals are. I'm going to do six geothermals right here. So have six there, and also just get your geothermals. I'm not very prepared, am I? There you go. Let's get our geothermals and just place them on the top there. There you go. So I mean, this can go out huge, like for a long way, and it will make use of it, and uh, we have tons of power. So all you need now is your timer, some redstone. You don't need some red alloy wire. Place your your timer there. And redstone here, 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 and here. And there you go. That is all you need. It should start working. And you should start to see some buckets go through. Of course, you, you need to put the buckets in the deployer. So, however, and of course in the retriever. So, place your bucket in the retriever. So, this is what you want to retrieve. And it won't take the buckets out yet. It needs to just quickly charge. So, um, place all the buckets you have into there, it will milk the cow, go to the filter, they condense, as you can see it's condensing right now, making some buckets, and uh, this seems to not be uh, activating, probably because I need to raise this up a bit, so just place your bo block there, and do it there, there you go, doesn't like it going into the side, so just place your block there, I'm not sure, I guess it's one block more, it's not going to really make a difference unless you're using diamond blocks. But um, there you go, it's, you can see the lava is going into there. It's not taking any of the things out yet because this needs to charge up, and once it is, it will start going. It's nearly there, so I'll just stay here for a bit. Yeah, so I mean, you can do this quite in the early stages, and I'll even show you the power it makes if I get some glass fiber cables on the top here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and get our MFSU and place it right here, and we'll see how fast it goes up. Look at this, 
no already 10,000 energy. That's already a quarter of a bat box with just six geothermals. There you go, half a bat box already done. And uh, this should be retrieving now. So let's have a look. I mean, yep, there you go. As you can see, this isn't even a huge thing. You could have about a hundred of these, and I'd like to see how fast that geothermal will go. But this is um, already quite close to a tenth being full. Uh, yep, so that's that's the geothermal uh, geothermal infinite energy. Uh, uh, please make sure to like, thumbs up the video if you want to see some uh, more second build series. Uh, and yeah. Bye! <laughs>